We're all about exploring the weird and wonderful world of our bodies. And today's quest? Conquering that stubborn belly fat. Belly fat isn't just annoying, it's linked to all sorts of health risks. But listen up, because the good news is we can fight back. And not just with endless crunches. Turns out, some sneaky little food culprits are actually fueling that fat storage. So, let's get rid of the billy bandits and get real about what to avoid for faster fat blasting results. When you munch on that delicious croissant or take a sip of your favorite soda, you might not realize the impact these choices can have on your billy fat. You see, every time you eat, your body uses calories and nutrients to power your brain, repair muscles, and keep everything functioning. But when your energy needs are met, the excess calories don't just vanish. They get converted to fat. And where do they love to hang out? Around your stomach, love handles, and hips. Let's first talk about the heavyweight champion of fat storage, soda. The average American gulps down 270 calories of added sugars daily with a significant chunk coming from soda alone. That's nearly 1,900 extra calories per week. To put it in perspective, that's like trying to burn off the calories from running 12 to 15 miles. But it's not just about the calories. It's the sugary calories that pose a double whammy. They're lousy at satisfying hunger, often piling on top of the calories you've already consumed. No wonder soda lovers tend to tip the scales more than those who steer clear. So here's a friendly suggestion. Swap that soda for healthier options like sparkling water, tea, or coffee. If you can't resist the sweetness, throw in some stevia. Studies show it can help cut calories and assist in shedding those extra pounds. Another culprit in the billy fat saga is beer. The term beer belly isn't just a catchy phrase, it's a real phenomenon. When you indulge in a cold one, you're inviting a slew of issues. Alcohol when converted to acetate in the liver throws your fat burning process out the window. Those fatty acids you consume, more likely to become body fat than get burned off. Pair that with the fact that alcohol often partners with high fat junk foods and you've got a recipe for disaster. Unlike protein, carbs, and fats, alcohol doesn't make you feel full. It might even crank up your appetite. A 2019 study found that adults don't compensate for alcohol calories by eating less. And guess what? Beer with its 150 calories per drink, is a prime candidate for fat gain compared to wine or hard liquors. So, as much as you adore that croissant or enjoy a beer with friends, keep in mind the toll they can take on your belly fat. Now, let's talk about cooking oil. While oils like avocado and olive oil have health benefits, they come with a calorie-packed downside. Cooking oils are the heavyweight champions of calories. Even the slightest excess can quickly translate into a significant caloric intake. To put this into perspective, consider the case of olive oil, a go-to for many health-conscious individuals. Just one tablespoon packs a punch at 119 calories. Now picture incorporating three tablespoons of olive oil into your daily meals. That's an extra 357 calories subtly making their way into your diet. The intention here isn't to advocate for the abandonment of cooking oils, especially those recognized as healthy options. Instead, the key is to approach them with a sense of moderation and awareness. An effective strategy to achieve this balance is the use of an oil mister, a practical hack to regulate the amount of oil applied during cooking. This simple tool significantly reduces the quantity of oil reaching your pan, helping you to exercise better control over your calorie intake. It's worth noting that not all oil misters are created equal, and this is where a distinction arises from store-bought cooking sprays. Many commercial cooking sprays often contain processed oils that may not align with health-conscious choices such as canola or rapeseed oil. To retain control over the quality of the oil used, it's advisable to opt for a separate oil mister. This way, you can customize your cooking experience by adding your preferred healthy oil, be it avocado or olive oil. The takeaway is not to fear cooking oils, but to be mindful of their caloric intake. The introduction of an oil mister into your culinary routine can be a game changer allowing you to enjoy the benefits of these oils while keeping a watchful eye on your calorie consumption. Now onto a classic pair that spells trouble. 
french fries, and the usual Happy Meal sidekicks. These golden sticks are more than just a calorie bomb at around 427 calories per 5 ounce serving. They often bring along friends like double cheeseburgers and sodas piling on the calories. What makes this combo particularly concerning is not just the sheer caloric load, but also the absence of satiety that comes with it. Despite their calorie density, these items may leave you feeling less than full, potentially setting the stage for overindulgence. Yet, the calorie count isn't the sole issue. French fries, along with their counterparts in the fast food world, come with another adversary, salt. Now, salt in and of itself isn't a direct contributor to weight gain. However, its influence on your eating habits can indirectly affect your calorie intake. This is where the intriguing concept of the salted food addiction hypothesis makes its entrance. According to this hypothesis, salted foods, including irresistible french fries, have the potential to stimulate specific receptors in the brain. This stimulation goes beyond mere taste. It triggers a response in the brain's opioid and dopamine receptors, creating a cycle of craving and consumption. As a result, indulging in salted foods may not only lead to the immediate consumption of more calories, but it could also foster a pattern of repeated overeating, potentially contributing to fat gain over time. In essence, while salt doesn't directly contribute calories, its ability to influence your cravings and eating patterns can set the stage for a scenario where you end up consuming more calories than you might have intended. Understanding this interplay between salt, cravings, and calorie intake sheds light on the intricate dynamics at play when we reach for that enticing serving of french fries and their happy meal companions. It's not just about the immediate caloric impact, it's also about the potential for more extended pattern of consumption that can affect your overall health and weight management. Finally, last but not the least, potato chips. In a fascinating study spanning two decades, scientists from Harvard Medical School delved into the lifestyles of over 120,000 individuals. What they discovered over four-year increments was quite eye-opening. The lifestyle change most strongly linked to weight gain was none other than an uptick in potato chip consumption. But why the undeniable association between these crispy snacks and expanding waistlines? For one, potato chips pack a caloric punch disproportionate to their size. A mere 100 grams of these crunchy delights can set you back a substantial 536 calories. It's a classic case of a small volume with a hefty caloric payload making them a prime candidate for unintentional overeating. But that's not the whole story. Consider the setting. Picture yourself munching on potato chips while engrossed in a movie or TV show, especially during the late hours. This pairing is no coincidence. The study revealed that snacks like potato chips often come hand in hand with distracted eating, particularly in the evening. And, as it turns out, people tend to consume significantly more calories when their attention is divided, especially late at night. So it's not just about the chips, it's the context in which we enjoy them. The alignment of high-calorie content with distracted eating habits sheds light on why researchers found that an increase in potato chip intake tends to correlate with weight gain. It's a reminder that what and how we eat can significantly impact our health journey even down to the seemingly harmless potato chip. And there you have it. Simple tweaks to your diet can make a big impact on that stubborn belly fat. We've exposed the food foes sabotaging our six-pack dreams, and now it's time to claim victory. Remember, ditching these belly bandits is just one piece of the puzzle. Keep the water flowing, get those body parts moving, and fuel your fire with whole yummy goodness. But hey, let's not sugarcoat it. Losing belly fat takes time and effort. There's no magic bullet, no overnight miracle cure. But trust me, the satisfaction of seeing those results, feeling your clothes loosening, and knowing you're taking charge of your health, that's magic, all on its own. So keep exploring, keep learning, keep kicking butt. Subscribe to our channel for more body-loving tips and tricks, and share your own billy-busting victories in the comments below. Together, we can conquer this quest and live our healthiest, happiest lives.